Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And we're in the middle of the canopy change. Now, the old canopy's off. It's been disassembled. Before we even start addressing putting the new canopy on, there's a couple of things that we're attacking. Is we are cleaning the bow. Now, this is the forward bow. We've taken the, the latch assembly off, and we're bringing it down to bare metal because we're going to repaint it. If you look at the other side, it's taken a little bit of abuse over the last you know, 48, uh, 49 years. And so we're going to go ahead and make it all look nice and pretty again by repainting it. Kind of like what we did with the harness uh, brackets in the back of the airplane while the windows were out. We did that. Also, too, uh, Tim has taken and painted the inner rear bow to match the interior. And he just transferred over paint to the skirt. And and we've painted the inside of the skirt. So when this all goes back together, it would be nice and pretty. So we'll get this one, roll that down and clean, get it painted. We'll hang it up, and then that will be today's work. And tomorrow, we will begin the process of fitting it all in. So we'll do a video on that. But, you know, while you have it all apart, it's not going to be apart again for maybe another 40, 50 years. Now's a good time to apply a little bit of paint and really make the old girl look nice. So we would like to ask you, please subscribe hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Now this will be the first of several videos covering how to install a two-place canopy. Uh, personally, I think it's one of the most difficult things we do on the two-place airplane, the canopy. The windshield is a little bit more difficult than the four-place in some aspects, and it's a little easier in other aspects because it's only eighth inch or three sixteenths versus quarter inch. But back to the canopy. So here you can see the profile of the canopy. Now, I know it may look like it's symmetric on the airplane, but it is not. You'll notice that the peak is about right here for the, for the, on the top of the curve, the apex. And that is closer to this end. So this is the front. Most people assume they put the labels on the front end. These are just slapped on when they're cut out, so they could be anywhere on here. This is not a reference point. So this is the front. It comes up and then it gently tapers towards the back. And what we do is, is the first thing we do on the front of the canopy is we wanna make sure this front is completely flat, dead flat, even. If that's our front, we're gonna do any trimming on this end, the aft end, not on the front end. We don't wanna bring this too far forward. The, the apex here is for the pilots because the apex sits right over where the pilot's head should be in for a, a normal person. So that's how you tell the contour of the canopy, and that determines front and back. So now we'll begin uh, the next part of starting to fit it to the airplane. And before we do that, we have a couple of spacers to make. And this morning we're getting ready to be, we're in the process of setting the canopy. Uh, now, again, canopies on the two-place airplanes are one of the things that uh, I think are one of the most difficult to get right. Uh, it's a difficult job to do. Um, Ken kind of agree with me. And uh, not for the faint of heart. But anyway, as part of that process, one of the things that's absolutely critical when you're dealing with the two-place canopies is this bow, the forward bow, and the rear bow. And they both have special contours to them. Uh, this one's got the lock assembly in it, slightly out of view. But they must be absolutely parallel to each other. Now, on this particular airplane, which happens to be all of the early Yankees, from the aft portion of the forward spar uh, bow to the forward section of the aft bow on this airplane 24 inches 15 sixteenths so that's front to back over there now it's only held in by one screw at the bottom on either side so these bows could move so let me climb up on the airplane to make sure I don't disturb the camera so what we've done is uh, you can see one clamp here, there are two out of sight, but there are five spacers around this windshield. And what we've done is we've clamped the windshield, one paint stick with tape on it apart, all the way around, held in by three clamps. That assures us that this bow is absolutely parallel to this bow. Now we set the windshield using the existing canopy. So now we can now re-registrate the new canopy from the new windshield. The other thing that we've done is we've taken two pieces of angle of aluminum and we've cut them and we've bent them and we've screwed them up here to the bow 
and on the back side, we have notched them so that they go into the two notches on this. And this assures us that this bow remains parallel, and this distance up here and all the way around is 24 inches, 15 sixteenths. So that we know that they are now absolutely parallel. They won't go anywhere because we're going to be dropping a canopy on here, which is going to be heavy and hanging over everything. But this allows us to get our two bows, and it's critical that those bows be parallel. And we've already talked about the profile of the canopy. So now you start to collect the whole picture. Now what we're going to do is we're going to position the canopy. We're going to check for straightness in the front, make sure it's absolutely dead flat. And then from there, we'll become the process of where we have to trim in the back. And then after we have it trimmed in the back, then we will come in and start with our hole drilling. And then after all that, it'll be the bonding of this, the bonding to the rear bow, and uh, twice as hard as the windshield, and lots of clamps. And here we are in the process of doing the, of the canopy on a two-seater. This is a Yankee. And you'll notice now that we have clamped the rear to the bow with some just spring clamps from woodworking. And we've started, we've drilled one hole, two holes, two up at the top, two on the other side. And that completely fixes the windshield to where the bow is. Now let's walk around to the front for a second. And you'll see that we have a clamp here. We've gone to our one-inch spacers, not the ones we were using before. So we're all clamped into place nicely. And what we're looking at here is we've clamped here and in the other place on the other side so that the canopy is completely flat against this bow. Now we're getting ready to take the drill. We're going to drill this hole, this hole, two up at the top, and the similar spots on the other side. And then that will give us six registration points either side. Because, as you'll notice, the canopy is proud right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it proud, but we're flush here, we're flush on the other side, we're flush at the bottoms, and so we have a couple of places where we're a little, we're a little proud. But what we're going to do is, after we have the holes drilled, then we're going to take it off the airplane, remove the screws we just drilled and placed and put in place. We're going to come back and untake the bows off from the rail. You can see where the the bows are fixed to the rail and they're held parallel. And they're, they're just, you saw the spacer bars in an earlier video. So we've got everything in place right where we want it. Once we have all these hole drills, we're going over to the table. We're going to put the canopy upside down. We're going to take the bows and we're going to bond the bows to the canopy and let it cure overnight. Uh, we'll probably actually bond it tomorrow morning because it's pretty late in the day here even though I said good morning. But what that will allow us to do is to bond the bows to the windshield and we can and we'll, we'll be able to clamp it but we'll be able to line it up and screw it into place partially while we come back and clamp it while the sealant cures for a day and a half and then we can come back and take our sanders and sand everything down flush and then the canopy goes back on the airplane after we've trimmed these bottom pieces. And the same thing with the skirt. We'll put the skirt back on. And at that point, we have completed everything we need to do uh, with a canopy change. So let's just come around to the other side briefly. One clamp over here. We're a little proud. So we're just going to come, again, drill this one and this one, the two up at the top. And... Once we get those six holes drilled, then we're good to go for moving it off. We have some more prep work to do. I mean, we have to put tape on the inside right along where the bow is so that we can take the bow off and scuff up all the plastic to get good adhesion to, and promote it. Uh, same thing on the rear bow. And here we are, uh, another step in the process of doing the canopy. When this canopy was last seen, it was on the airplane. And we had drilled registration holes for front and rear uh, for the two bows. Then we take it off, then we bring all the screws out, unclamp everything, and bring the canopy over here and invert it. And then we screwed both bows back on, so that on the inside, we can come back to first one inch blue tape, and then two inch blue tape, because we want to rough up the edges of the canopy, fore and aft. This is where we're gonna bond it to the bows. So now that we've got it all roughed up, the next step is, is that we're going to wipe it all down with alcohol. We're going to make sure the bows are absolutely clean on the mating surface. We're going to take those mating surfaces that are now bright and shiny on one. This one still needs some cleaning. 
we'll do that and then we'll wipe them down with alcohol to get any oil off of them and then it's time to put the adhesion promoter on and then bond them put the screws in to hold the hold the assembly in place and then when we have the registration screws in come back and put clamps in clamp all around the edge and then walk away from it for 24 to 36 hours when that's all done then all we have to do the bows will now be secured we put the rest of the screws in then we can come back and sand the windshield down even with the bows front and back as needed and then we can go do a trial fit on the airplane notice there's no screws for the canopy yet so we'll be putting that all back on the airplane and we'll be marking where we have to come back and sand the sides down sand them down and then finally we put the screws in put the foam tape in and then we're ready to mount the canopy on the airplane and then we can peel all the bare hide off and then put the skirt on and finish putting the airplane back together but this is how you do a canopy it's a lot of work um, today between fitting clamping checking fitting clamping checking until we had it absolutely where we were happy with it uh, to the point where we are right now is six hours six shop hours and uh, we did have a couple of helpers in the day for moving in one person in the airplane one person out of the airplane moving it on and off the aircraft so it's been moved around a lot today but now like i say we do a little cleaning and tomorrow we're ready for glue up so again not for the faint of heart but if you just take your time and follow the procedure you will do We've well so we um, last night we came in this morning from the cold and the tape had lifted up so what we did was we removed the up the aft and the front bow we cleaned their surfaces down with alcohol on the plexiglass mating area and then we came back with blue tape because when we put the sealant in we're going to get squeeze out and we want to make sure we have blue tape to catch it so we can come back and razor knife it and not have that um, you know the uh, Dow Corning 732 squeezed out onto the uh, plexiglass so that's why the tape was so critical so we cleaned it we got the blue tape then we went through the painful track of drilling on the outside of the aircraft all the holes for the rear bow now they're all drilled so that when we go to install it back together it'll go back now we're going to be taking uh, we've taken the belt sander and as you can see here we've gone around the bow and we have knocked the the canopy down to the aft bow limit except where the lock is but we've scored it so we know how far to sand it when we take the bow off the bow's coming off in a minute because we have to clean the mating area on the other side of the bow. We have to roll lock it down and get it nice and clean. After we do that, we're going to turn the windshield over and we're going to dress down the canopy to match the forward bow. Stand by while I get that set up. And as you can see on the forward side, we're flush at the bottom. we got quite a bit to remove up here along the top and some on the other side so we're gonna knock a lot of that down right now uh, before we do the glue up now we're gonna we're not gonna take it fully down but the advantage of doing that especially on the aft bow which is gonna be hidden by a skirt is that it gives us the opportunity to come back on this leading edge without the bow and take in our dual uh, action sanders and DA them down uh, we're using 36 grit on the belt sander to knock it down quickly then we come back with 80 150 to 20 400 and finally 1000 to polish the edge and take the little sharpness off the two bevels so that nobody will ever snag themselves on the canopy and by going to a thousand uh, it looks really nice it gives it a matte finish on the rolled edge it also removes every stress crack from the uh, bandsaw as you can see some of the bandsaw from when it was cut out of the mold so that's where we are when we get all of that done then it's going to be time to take the bows off lay the table up and then put the bows back on with sealant and the way we do these to prevent from getting any voids is we shoot the sealant on here and then we we put on a glove and we come back and we smear it down so we make sure we have sealant everywhere on the bow that prevents any bull voids we do that both the front and the aft and then we put in our two screws here our two screws on the end both the both bows and then we come back with clamps and we clamp it in place let it sit for 24 to 48 hours it's uh, kind of cool here so we're probably going to go close to 48 and then we're ready to come back and trim the sealant um, and then put the skirt on and then we're ready to hang it on the airplane 
and drill the holes for the canopy rails. We have the first one and the last one already done. That's not going to be an issue. And then we just have to take it one more time with the belt sander and come back, trim it, tress it up and sand it. And, then and we have the canopy glued front and back. Now, we did one extra thing. We knocked, we knocked down to the bows. Uh, freshly sanded plexiglass until you buff it out is very sharp and it will hurt. Um, so I cut my finger pretty good, so there's a little blood in the project along with some sweat and some tears. However, this is the rear bow. It's held in place by the 12 screws and we've got clamps on the end where the rail is going to go. Same thing on the bow. We have the two main center ones done. Um, we have this one done. This one's going to be held in by the, um, the canopy rail, but we have a clamp on it, and then we have clamps where we have the other, uh, where the other screws were. So the only screws we put in were the four where the canopy is going to go. Clamped everything else up. Now we, we just put all the sealant in. As you can see, no voids. Very nicely done. Proper amount of squeeze out on the front. Some more, some less. Squeeze out on the backs. Same thing on the forward seal where we used most of the sealant. They didn't bond the uh, back part at the factory, but you've got enough sealant in the six ounce tubes to do it, and it just makes for a much stronger. So we're using the old screws right now to hold it. In 36 hours when we take it apart, we'll be able to put the skirt on and um, use brand new stainless steels, and these are 832 R9s. So, that concludes a canopy glue-up. Uh, we didn't run any video because uh, Shop Monkey and I, for you know, you, we, we started mixing at 4 o'clock on the sealant. We have a half hour working time, and we had it all together at 425. So, we've cleaned up everything. Now, we just leave it alone and let it cure. And we're on the last bit of a canopy install. As you can see, we've made a score line where the rail goes and we've done that on both sides so now we're going to take the sanders and we're going to bring this down to the final level and then it's time to attach the skirt to the rear bow and put it back on the airplane so stand by for a bit more fun well now we've sanded the sides down to finish and as you can see it's a nice matte finish no stress cracks we've taken a razor blade on this back bow and we have cut all the sealant and pulled it off with the tape. We cut it down here and now we're getting ready to pull off this tape and then we're going to be taking out the screws of the back bow and adding the skirt back on the aircraft and uh, at that point we will remove all the bear hide and take it over to the airplane and attach it to the rail. So stand by. Okay as you can see the skirt is back on. We've just repainted the front bow and um, the masking stripe for the sealant on the front of the bow uh, in flat black, and that's drying up. We've also prepared the rails. We put the 3M foam tape. We punched out the holes for the screws, and right before we uh, put the canopy on, we will peel the tape off for the uh, on the on the rubber, and then we will be good to go. Uh, so stand by in just a minute. We'll have this, uh, as soon as the paint dries, we'll have it back on the airplane and another canopy install, except for the, uh, the latch assembly, which we still have to put in. Okay, we're getting ready to put the canopy on, and you can see we've put the 3M tape, and we've punched out holes where the screws are going to go both sides. The canopy um, hiding strip is all nicely flat black and painted, ready to go back on the airplane. So in just a couple of minutes and 12 screws... We'll be peeling off the bear hide, so stand by for just a little bit more. Canopy's on, rear windows are in, windshield's done. Uh, we're just going to fire it up after the end. You'll do all our pre-engine checks, and then uh, Tim will be flying the girl home to her hangar. Well, there you go. A complete canopy install on a two-place. So we hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day flying your Grumman. You know, forget buying expensive toys for your kittens and cats. Um, we find that just taking the aircraft spruce box and the paper on the tile floor is more than enough amusement for them for hours.